today. I'm going to demold this. And I'm going to make this pour out a little easier to meter out. So we're going to see how this works out. Probably wind up putting a couple little caps to go over this, but I'm going to put. Gonna demold this guy today. I'm gonna cast it with some uh, clear epoxy, and we'll burn up some of these uh, arrowheads. When I do that, I'm gonna put this part A and B into these containers. Make it a little bit easier to uh, dispense it into the cups. Links for all this stuff is below if you um, order it. I get a nickel, so I appreciate it. Took a short sleeve in a nutshell trying to find a good use for short sleeve that we find in the Peace River. Another view. Lots of, lots of cool 20 million year old short sleeve. I'm just sorting them out in the center left right. And the same way with, like, these ones from Sand Sharks and that. Uh, sand Tiger Sharks. But I'd like to. People enjoy them all the time. What did was, uh, wife said to me, hey, too bad you couldn't put them in something that you could see both sides. We talked a bit. I went and picked up some uh, jewelry. Molds, so I'm use this here, jewelry resin, two part clear epoxy. Made some bracelets for the granddaughter, and I'll probably put them on the website. Uh, like that little one, I used all these, uh, all these tiny sharks. But I'd like to do at the end of a trip, whenever we go on a day trip there, come back and just cast all of the sharks into a single mold, put the date on it, and use it as a coaster. This one should work out uh, to be something like this. And I was going to use this that I printed originally, but I don't want this texture in here. I have this texture in this mold because, again, I printed it real fast, real coarse, 0.6 layer height, and I didn't feel like sanding it. And you could sand this and fill it sand it and fill it and, and come up with a smoother surface, but I don't think you're going to get as smooth a surface as this right here, as this rubber. Let me get the other one down the other top. What I'm doing is casting this, and I put another coat on it, but uh, still, tons of bubbles, lots of texture. Can't really see the shark seat in it. So, what I want is smooth. What so came up with this, I drew this up in uh, Mesh Mixer. Mesh, mesh Mixer, 3D Fusion, 360 Fusion, and 3D Builder. Fusion is great for straight and square stuff. Mesh Mixer is best software for, well, and Blender, but Blender's got a big learning curve. Um, Blender, you can do a lot of things that you can do in both Mesh Mixer and uh, Fusion 360. When I drew this up, this outside part, look at the other video. We'll see how it went together. We're going to demold this and then cast it. I think I'm going to make some more of these too. I say that in the other video. This is a, this is a, kind of cool. They were too fat to fit my coaster molds. Made up a bunch of these coasters too thick. So since they had um, epoxy out of them, I tossed them down in the into one of these silicone molds to just dry, and it turned out pretty neat. Uh, I suppose you could put a few of them together with some sand, make a little diamond. things to do today.
But I want to get this, one of these casts. I'm drying. Probably going to make some jewelry, too. Out of them, eventually. Let's see what it looks like. Good news is this is printed out of white TPU. Uh, I don't know whose it was. It'll be on the link below. The Overture stuff is too rubbery. This is a Pryline or Pryline Pryline TPU. Highly recommended for things that need flexibility, but you also want them to be stiff. see we don't need any mold release or anything on this. Comes right off. I'm just doing this to get the edge. And so what I did was I printed this and then printed basically a cookie cutter. So that way I poured this in two pours. I poured the first layer in here to that line that I made on here. I'm a little bit shorter. That's five millimeters. I give this a five millimeter lip. Let it set up. Let it set up for about an hour, hour and a half. And uh, then I poured the edge. So it looks like it's all cured. Let's see what we're going to get out of this. Oh yeah. Mel parts in our red, uh, red, a moron, orange, um, yeah, of course it's red, <laughs> orange, uh, PLA plus. I like using PLA plus instead of PLA. It's the same price, but it's almost as durable. You gotta print it a little hotter, and it's almost as durable as ABS. But a lot easier to print than ABS. Hey, hey, we might have a winner here. Well, would you look at that? Should be able to make this. <laughs> oh, it's 3D printed, so it's exact. Be able to make this. But, the difference being, is that, uh, we had a little seepage there in the corner, it really doesn't matter. This will be a nice smooth surface, so you'll be able to see through the acrylic, acrylic, not acrylic, it's epoxy. And we'll make a nice coaster. Put the date on it, put your drink on it. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> that turned out too. I don't know if you can see that in there. I put a, my initials and the date into the mold. So that'll cast also if you get high enough, if we get high enough with it. Which I don't think we will all the time. I wonder how much this is going to hold. So we have a have a mold. I like it. It looks complete. I uh, probably could go through and trim some of this off, but there's no need to, really. And I could pull it out of the TPU mold box that it's in. It would release. Uh, there's really no reason to. Well, we'll keep the extra extra rigidity there. Probably TPU. This is, um, yeah, I don't know whose it is. PLA Plus, probably Hatchbox. Good stuff. The only modification I had to make to this after I printed, I hit it with a heat gun to get rid of any of the, my little uh, thermal soldering, my soldering station heat gun for doing surface mount components to um, clean up any of the hairs and stuff on there. And then I took the 3D pen and went around on here because printed this out 0.6 layer with one no nozzle. It's very coarse. 
So it had some gaps along the top here. Now you want the plastic, the rubber to intrude up into that and then leave me with a, with a funky uh, finish. So I went around with the 3D pen. I just, it's easy. Filled a chunk, pressed it down, filled a chunk, pressed it down. And it worked out nice. Got a, uh, Nice, uh, nice finish there on the edge. Well, there's some garbage out of here. Ah, that's, that's, it's good to see a plant come together. Took about more than two-thirds of this eight and a quarter ounces, so probably around six ounces to make this mold. The old mold that I made with this guy, this is the entire can that's eight and a quarter ounces for this. series I'm making this, what I did to cover that hole, etc. It worked out, but you can't really see through it. And that's what this is going to allow us to do. So let's clean off our board here. Bumps and bumps. We'll get to casting. Probably going to take quite a bit. I'd imagine four or five ounces at least of a Epoxy. So those little red solo cups are two ounces a piece. So we'll do our initial mix of half and half. I'll screw this later. You can just pour it out of the container. 